Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a video I promised uh, with all the tools and materials I used in the uh, tortoise cat painting video. Uh, of course, it's mostly uh, exactly <laughs> the same as I usually use. I mean, of course, if it's a black cat, I'm not using the orange paint, but yeah, it's mainly the uh, same for every cat painting I'm doing. And uh, I recognize when I look back the, the list that I missed the watercolor pencil and the pen. So my watercolor pencil is just a uh, gray. Make sure it's not the silver. Sometimes it's easy to mix them up. And the pen I used, it's, uh, it's, it's this thin uh, Faber-Custer Pit Artist pen. And I'm using the small or the extra small uh, from that. And other than that, I hope all listed in the next part. So hi, this is Bodorka, and in this video I will show you all the all the tools and and things I used um, and material I used in the tortoise video. Um, so let's start with the paper. Um, I used uh, Archie's watercolor block, uh, which is look like this. So. That's not the size I used, but it's exactly the same type of paper I used in the video 18 by 24 inches paper. This is smaller, but it's the same paper. It's the 300 gram um, uh, cold press. So the settings, um, I'm, I'm working on a desk in front of me. Uh, about a, a meter afar there is my comp my comp my laptop with the photo i'm painting and on a desk i put this kind of cheap uh, i don't know what kind of paper it is you can buy thousands in a box for very cheap because the wet watercolor paper pick up structure from the desk and anything so i really like to put a 5 10 at least below uh, it's also good to soak up excess water so i put a lot of paper under my my uh, my uh, painting and then um i already um i i showed most of this in the video but as I said, I'm using a lot of water, big balls, so something like this. Uh, and it's important to use either transparent or white uh, balls. I'm just using this cheap leftover from uh, food storage containers or whatever. Um, I, I have at least two next to me because uh, I like my paper. Um, I like my water very clean, so I always need a second one to make sure I, if I need suddenly clean water, it's there. And in many times during the painting, I run out for. So as soon as the first water is dirty, uh, when I have a little time, there's nothing urgent. I just run for clean water, so make sure I always have one extra uh, brushes. So I used this big brush for the wetting the paper and also in some modification uh, during the painting. I don't even know what type of brush is it. it. It was something cheap in the art store. I usually go black. I mean, usually I go online black. Uh, the brushes I used, um, uh, I think all Princeton. Um, two of them are Aqua Elite round. Uh, one of them is 16 the bigger one and the smaller one is eight and I used another Princeton but this is Neptune and that's numbered as eight it's it's a different type of brush this is fluffy hold a lot of water and this one is more precise it has a more springy uh, 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 tip so you it's really good for like drawing precise more precise thing and this is good to put big flowy watercolor um, areas on the paper. 
in this painting, I used only two paint. Uh, the brand is not even that important. I use artist quality watercolor all the time. So, but there are many good brand, uh, uh, many good brands. So the the orange color was a uh, Horadam uh, transparent orange, and the black I always use for cats lamb black. The brand again not that important. I really like Daniel Smith, so it was uh, lamb black from Daniel Smith. For removing uh, like the paper towel or whatever I use, uh, it's Kim Wipe, like this. And this is how a sheet looks like. For me, this is very important. I wouldn't change. So I would keep this. this. I'm really happy with the result. It's not falling apart. It's not breaking. It's not leave tiny uh, fibers on your paper. So I really recommend that. Uh, for the masking fluid, I use this one. Um, it changed a few years ago. Uh, I I don't know. I I don't know which one I liked more. Um, when it changed, I had to adjust, but I'm fine with both now. Um, the previous one, and I don't know this one because it's kind of newer, so I, I started use not too long ago. The previous one, if you didn't remove entirely from your, from your painting, after a time left very ugly yellow. <laughs> yellow, it, 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 it turned yellow, or I don't know, like, it, 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 it wasn't nice. So uh, it's better if you really make sure you remove after your painting ready all of them. <laughs> and, uh, because I don't know how this will behave, but otherwise I really like this. It's really come off really nice. It's it's a good product, I think. Uh, just uh, yeah, make sure you remove and make sure before you paint it's entirely, entirely dry. Otherwise, you just destroy your brush because it will stick into your brush. Um, what I use uh, to apply, this is this reed stick. I I don't know how it's called, honestly. It's the Asian uh, used this, I think, originally to apply ink. And I you can buy this in art stores also. But I think almost any kind of stick where it's a little pointy edge can work. It's not that pointy, it break the paper, but it's kind of pointy. And after you use it, you have to wait until it's dry and remove and then use again because otherwise it just build up and it's useless to make thin lines after a while. So you just need to clean it before you use it for sure. Remove the, I have like 10 of them. So I always have some clean around me and I remove the, before I use, I make sure I remove the old dry uh, masking fluid from it. So... For the painting, I use little dishes like this, and this is the lamb black. I don't want to like it because it's wet. I because it's stew paint, and I I don't think I can use. I mean, that's what I like. I don't like the the half pens. That, my brush not even fitting in the half pens or the pens. So I I like the tube. So I put out some paint. Maybe I don't know, like this long. <laughs> you just put out and add water. To make the paint like flowy, creamy, like a little bit flowier than honey, but not don't deal you too much, like crazily. Just um, yeah, um, and it's good to before you start to deal you tap, but it's not necessary. If the paint was sitting, you don't need to throw away if you have leftover. If the paint was sitting, uh, put water like twenty minutes before you start to paint and use your brush a little bit loosen up um, you you can reuse it easily the the watercolor it's at least what i'm using it i never had problem uh, for black you can use any color of plate because you know it's the black for other colors i use white and i suggest use white always to see the colors uh, what you're using this is the transparent orange for the cat i used and kitchen salt, I just keep some around me. It's not necessary for everything. Actually, I use it very rarely um, for painting and forceps. Sometimes your brush leave a weird 
hair on your painting and you can't just to try with your hand it's not possible so this is good to have around uh and i think i mentioned everything i hope at least oh no spray butter you always need a spray butter it's not important what you can have the plastic one whatever uh, this is really good uh, the plastic ones for me break regularly this one i have for a very long time so yeah spray bottle is important with water in it and uh, i'm looking around on my desk but i don't think there is anything left so these are the tools i used for the cat